Greetings, Mikey Majestic representing the Inner Gold Show, Bang Radio, Inner Gold International. And you know what? I'm here with a man who has no point to prove because we've done speak to him already and he done show the UK already. But let me introduce him again. Anyway, I'm here with my like Amari Banks. Greetings. Greetings, greetings. That's Bless it. So, we was with you last time you was in the UK. Mm -hmm. You know, we caught up with you after you performed last time uh -huh. in London after doing a little press tour. Mm -hmm. So how does it feel now to have upgraded and be back again at such an iconic venue? Um, it's a great feeling, as I mentioned before. Well, first, England is not a place that's foreign to me. Yeah. Um, I've been over, coming over to England since I've been 14 years old. Um, I came over the last time, I think it was March, April. Yeah. You know, different capacity music, and um, I thoroughly enjoyed that. We did a lot of work in London. We did from Manchester to London. We did a lot of stuff in, in, throughout the country. Um, it was a successful um, tour, promotional tour, and we did, especially you mentioned before, the the, um, the show that we did in London. Yeah, where a lot of people from Angola, my country, came out. A lot of people who were, who were curious to find out about me now as a as a, a musician and artist. Um, so it's, it's been a great experience. It's, it's always great to, to come over and to see the growth from that time to now. Um, it's, it's a great thing to be touring with Mark and Heritage, a group that is well established and have done their thing within reggae music and just the music in general throughout the region and the world. So I'm excited to be part of that, um, to be connected with such um, a prestigious group. For real. And you've had a good year, even since we linked last time, you've toured so many countries, you've been travelling all over the world, places like Holland, Germany and the UK, you've toured on your own as well, so how has that helped your growth and development as an artist? It's helped a lot, I think any artist um, to really, especially when you're trying to break out there into the music, you've got to go out and do the promotional stuff. Um, I've done a lot of promotion in the region, I've been doing that for the past four years. Um, I, as I mentioned before, I came over to, to, to the UK. Before I came over here, actually this time it was, I spent a bit of stint a week in Canada, um, where I did a, 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 a promotional run. I was there as part of a fashion week as well. So we've been really putting in the work. Um, that's important when you're trying to get the message out there. And um, it's been really helpful. People have been following Omari Banks. They've been trying to, to, find, to, to find out what's new and what's coming. And I'm really excited to really share um, my music with them because it's a great thing to, to create music and then for people to embrace it. So I'm really excited about um, the future. For real, King. Now, it must be even amazing even performing in countries where English isn't the first language. Yeah. And you've got such a powerful voice that I'm uh -huh. sure they've still been responding to the vibe. So it's, what's that been like? Yeah, it's been awesome. I'll be honest with you. I mean, German has been great folks in Holland, we actually go back to, to Holland tomorrow. Um, but we had a great time. Birmingham was amazing as well. Uh, I have a Caribbean in, um, <coughs> following there. And I had a really good time there. And before that was Sheffield. So, I mean, we had, uh, we've had a good, a good run. Everybody's been happy. There's always a good vibe to know that people on long tour are happy. Um, they're happy. The Morgan Heritage guys are happy. Jameer is happy. I'm happy. And that helps to, to feed the vibe when you go out on stage. So it's been a good feeling and it's been really um, shown for the fans because they've been really responding to that in a big way. Talking of the fans, you know, you mentioned before when you came last time, mm -hmm. the support you received from your home country. Uh -huh. I was blown away by it. There was like so many flags, so many yes. people that came out to greet you and support mm -hmm. you. So what's it been on like on the roads? Have there been Anguian support coming out to support you? Well, for the most part, Birmingham, because here in the UK, there's a lot of Anguians in, in Birmingham, especially tonight as well in London. There'll be a big, no, there'll be a big following here. I hope here. they're ready. I hope. Um, they're ready. Yeah, they're ready because they've been excited. They've been following me on social media. Um, they've been excited about what's been happening. And um, they're going to come out tonight and be cheering and I'm going to be excited to really um, bring the show to them. So it's good. It's a, it's a really good feeling to know that your music is embraced by people outside. But it's also even better feeling to know as well sometimes it's embraced by your own. Because sometimes your own is uh, the hardest ones to please. For real. Now we talked about the different countries you've gone to. But where's the most random place you've seen a fellow Anguian come out and greet you? Um, the most random place? Um... 
probably probably in Amsterdam. There was apparently when I was there, somebody said, "Yeah, we know we're Banky Bank son." I was like, "What? Who?" But yeah, but so that was cool to to go to Amsterdam for my first time. And then somebody was was uh, friends with my dad, and they knew I was his, uh, his son, etc. So so it was a good feeling to to know that there's there's somebody in the crowd who's who's been to your country, because I mean Angola is a pretty small country, 35 square miles. Um, yeah, so. Only well, population of thirteen thousand, the chances of finding somebody all the way in Amsterdam just to come to um, Morgan Heritage or Mary Bank show is probably very small. Now, last time we caught up, you know, you, we got the feeling how proud you are to represent your country, like you did in cr cricket, music, different things. But also seeing now you're an ambassador for your country, mm -hmm. and you was in Canada on behalf of the tourist board, mm -hmm. and you was at the fashion week. So, uh -huh. what was that experience like? It was great, as I mentioned before. I believe sports and mu well, music, sports and fashion they go together. Um, I've always been somebody who's, um, I believe that when we dress or when we, when we go there to perform, we represent who we are and um, what, what, we, what we wear, I mean, gives a certain image to, to, to folks out there. Um, whatever that image may be, it's, it, it doesn't matter. And I believe fashion is something that's personal. Um, so when I went to the fashion week, it was a great opportunity for me to go out there and put my vibe on it, whatever that may be. And just to, 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 to market my country, which is Angola, um, I mean, Ang our main industry is tourism in Angola, and it's important that we, the people who are out there in the field, um, whether it be sports, music, entertainment, um, that we showcase what we have in our country, because we are really proud to, um, to say we are Angolan. So it's important that we get that backing from the, the different um, governments to say, hey, this is what we got, this is why we're unique. Come to Angola and experience it. Definitely. Wow, uh, it, like you can just get that vibe that you are very passionate about being where you're from. But another thing I have to ask you about is the More Than Friends video. Mm -hmm. That's your latest single, yes. right? More Than Friends. More Than Friends. Now, I'm, not, I'm going to have to tell you personally, I said it off air. When I saw that video mm -hmm. and I looked outside my window, I didn't <laughs> want to go nowhere for a couple of days because right. it just made me feel I need to be right. in the Have sun. Feel. So for those that don't know, firstly, where was that video filmed? The video was filmed between Angola and St. Martin. Um, St. Martin is a neighbouring island, um, 15 minutes on a boat, I think at its closest point about 7 miles away from Angola. And um, there's a very tight connection between Angola and St. Martin. Um, the Modern Friends video, it's a fun video. Um, it's a story of two people who are friends and over a period of time they, they become more than friends. And um, yeah, it's, it's a cool song, it's a fun song and we thought that what better place to shoot the video would be to have a happy, a bright feel um, between Anguilla and St. Martin. So in the video you've got some bright shots. It also goes along with the theme of promoting the country. Um, when you, as you said, when you saw the video, made you feel like you wanted to go to that place, I'm sure. That's what we were trying to say. And um, that's what it's about. It's about we as artists um, showcasing our talent, but at the same time, fusing it with something that can also enhance the, um, your country. Now, over here, they took in, in line with what you're saying, like, if a man and a female are friends over mm -hmm. here, and the man wants to be more than friends, yeah. but the woman kind of leading him on, mm -hmm. we call it the friend zone over here. Right. So what advice would you give to a man that's in the friend zone? He wants to be more than friends, mm -hmm. but she just wants to keep him in the friend zone. I take your time. You got to take your time and you got to play chess. Uh, what's important is that you don't push too hard, but you show that you're somebody who can, you know what I mean? It's good to be around. And um, I think females appreciate that. Over a period of time, you got to be persistent. So you got to take your time and, and um, go about your business. So patience is a virtue. Patience is a virtue. <laughs> <laughs> now, we saw on Instagram recently that you bowled for the first time right. in five years. You're fine up, man. <laughs> <laughs> we have to, we have to, you know. So right. what was that like after so long? It was good. I mean, I went to Canada. Um, when I was playing cricket, I played against the Canada, even under 19 teams, a team as a youngster. When I got older, as, as well, I played against the national team. And um, it's always important, even though I'm not playing sport, I think it's important that I always, I keep that side of me not too far away. So, I mean, I kind of fuse it. Um, you can't run away from who you are or who you were. Um, so when I went to Canada, we thought um, that would be a great thing for me to 
to go to one of the practice sessions with the, the national, the Canadian under 19 team. Um, we had a great time. It was it's fun actually for me sometimes to go and and challenge myself because when sometimes when you don't play it a lot of time, even in your mind you believe you can do it. Even if you can't do it, um, but yeah, I'm still yeah I'm kind of retired quite early actually. So it was fun to go out there and have a few balls at the at the batsman and um, try to get them out and try to. Yeah, be competitive in that respect for a little bit. So it was fun, fun going out there and just bowling a few balls. No, at least she didn't get lit for six. That's the. No, I'm kind of for six. <laughs> that, that can't happen. But I was thinking maybe you now you can combine the two. You can start playing for the West Indies again because we need players. <laughs> and then whenever they say if they're in India, yeah. then at night time you right. can play in the venues in India and then be on the pitch the next day. What about that? Good marketing strategy. I'll talk to my, my team. All right, <laughs> percentage, if that comes off, then get them to call my people. <laughs> <laughs> but the legendary got Sir Garfield Sobers, I saw in the media very recently that mm -hmm. he broke down in tears mm -hmm. recently mm -hmm. sorry, actually, when he was talking about the current state of the West Indies team mm -hmm. and West Indies cricket. So what are your thoughts on the current state of West Indies cricket? Um, well, I don't follow the cricket as much as I, as I shouldn't say I should, but as, as much as I did in the past. Um, but I'm aware of when the team win and, and the team loses. Um, so I know that for the past, not only just probably for maybe 15 years, the team has been up, down, and really struggling. Um, but they've had their high points. So I'll say what I say all the time, West Indies cricket is, is full of talent, but talent is not even 50% of what it takes today, because everywhere um, with, in the age of technology, everybody is working and, and finding out ways how they can maximize their bit of talent. So we've got, we've got a lot of work to do in the Caribbean where, I mean, finances is a big issue. Um, you've got to have a professional system. I was blessed enough to play professional here in England as well as in the Caribbean. So I know the contrast of um, what's provided for players in the Caribbean as well as over here in England, and it's, it's a big jump. The average professional cricketer over here um, is is able to to have a so much more solid foundation when it comes to preparation. Um, whereas in the Caribbean, um, it's it's very much hard. It's really hard. It's strides made over the past couple of years to ensure that there's a professional setup, but every time, but it's not been it hasn't been consistent throughout all the different um, professional um, territories. So. There's a lot of work to do. Um, money is always at the, 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 at the root of some of these problems, especially when it comes to sport, because you, you need finances to facilitate these things. In small economies like the Caribbean, it's always a challenge, especially when the economies are diverse. Trinidad, Jamaica, Barbados, Seward Islands are different countries. So you don't have um, businesses which are, are really consistent throughout the, throughout the different islands. So, I mean, it's a complex situation in the Caribbean. But saying all that, that, those are the challenges. Somebody's got to come up with the solutions for that. And um, we got to find the solutions quickly because we're seeing this cricket, and cricket in the Caribbean is the only thing that brings the region together. And it has done that. Um, it was a movement back in the 70s, 80s, even almost a, a black conscious movement where, where the Caribbean, the West Indies team represented an age of empowerment for Caribbean people. Um, so the players of today have, have got to keep and ensure that they realize what they're playing for. And um, the administrators have to ensure that they um, try to meet the, the requirements which is necessary to have a, a strong international team. For real, King. So like the brother in, that's in the friend zone that we spoke about mm -hmm. earlier, mm -hmm. we have to be patient with the West Indies cricket team. So you're on the road, you're mm -hmm. travelling, mm -hmm. you're from your beautiful island, Anguilla. Mm -hmm. What are the three things you miss the most from Anguilla when you're on the road? Are the three things I miss? Mm, I miss sunshine sometimes. Um, I miss some of the food sometimes. And I miss my, my two daughters. No, oh, I can't argue with that. <laughs> can't argue with that. So what's next for Amari? What's coming? Well, next and next two hours I'll be on stage. So that's <laughs> <what I'm saying. laughs> And then after that? After that, then we catch a tour bus and we go to the Netherlands. Um, but yeah, what's next really in terms of my career, I'm looking forward to my EP that'll be coming out early next year. Um, I'm actually looking to go to Jamaica actually quite soon as well after I leave here to record a few more songs for that EP. Um, as well as um, a few shows I have back home, actually I have a show on the 6th that I'm going back to. 
I'm just getting ready to lead up for the end of the year and releasing the EP and come back over to Europe next summer. So excited for that. You know, we definitely have to catch up then when you come back so you can tell us all about the EP. Mm -hmm. um, could you just give a message to the youth that are coming through right now? They need some inspiration. So what message do you have to the youngest? Well, I tell to any young person that, I mean, you got to be focused. You got to have a plan. Um, don't wait for anybody to do anything for you. Um, it's important that you lean upon the advice of people that are around you, people who are proven, tested, um, family members, mother, father, is always a good place to start. But ultimately, you're the person who's got to make up your mind and the decisions for yourself. So it's important to have a, a strong mind, um, have a plan, lay out that plan, and, and go for it. Um, never tell yourself that you can't. You, always, you can do anything that you put your mind to. I try to live my life based on that premise. And um, yeah, just do what you're passionate about. Whatever you're passionate about, you give it your all. And I've always been somebody to, to do that. I've only done things that I've loved to do. Um, play sport and um, music now. And, and those are my two career choices. So follow your dreams, follow your passions, and plan it out and work towards it. That's deep. And for those that hear this interview, mm -hmm. or they've come to the Shepherd's Bush show, or they've seen you at one of the venues around yeah. town, and they want to follow what you're doing and yeah. keep up to date, where can they find you? As I say always, I'm easy to get in contact with. If you remember my name, my name is Omari Banks. So on Facebook, search Omari Banks Music. On Instagram, it's Omari Banks 11, O-M-A-R-I-B-A-N-K-S 11. On Twitter, it's Omari Banks 11, O-M-A-R-I-B-A-N-K-S 11. And my webpage is www.omaribanks.com. And if they want to get a copy of the Move On album, I'm mm -hmm. lucky I got mm -hmm. the deluxe edition, uh -huh. but where can they get hold of that? My music is on iTunes, all digital platforms, Google Play, the rest of it. So just go on iTunes, search Omari Banks, um, Move On Deluxe Edition, you'll be able to get the album, as well as you'll be able to get my new single, More Than Friends. Just search Omari Banks, More Than Friends. Yes, King. Well, it's always a joy to catch up with you. All the, All the best for this evening and Respect. the future until we catch up again. Yeah, no, no. Respect. Lessons. Respect.